Hey guys, Drew here for Zcode System. Welcome you back to the channel today. We're going to talk about the Premier League picks coming up for the midweek games on January the 12th, 13th, and 14th. I'm going to give you a few picks that uh, are going to go on for these games and hopefully win you guys some profits this weekend or this week actually uh, on these Premier League games. Now, some of the teams that are playing this week, uh, or actually all the teams that are playing this week, have games in hand. So they will be making the most or hoping to make the most out of these games to pick up points, move away from the relegation zone, or to put in a challenge for the Premier League title. Now, as you can see there, we've already got the blog up and you can go over there and read up on all the information there that we have. Check out the picks that I've posted and look at some of the stats that we've put there through the Soccer Buddy app. Uh, the tool there that we love to use here at Zico System, especially on these videos on our YouTube channel. Um, but I'm going to give you a couple more picks uh, besides the games that I've put up there and obviously talk to you about some of the things that are going on in the Premier League coming into this weekend. Now, the league is uh, restarting this weekend after the FA Cup third round took place over the weekend with some big games going on there. So teams will be hoping to get back to things and get back to winning ways if they were uh, doing so. And um, hopefully, as you can see there, Manchester United looking to continue their challenge, their big push right now uh, against uh, their big push for the title uh, with Liverpool, um, who are currently sitting in first place just in front of the Red Devils. So Manchester United can cash in that game, uh, that game in hand, that is, and go top of the table in midweek. So big game for them going to Burnley to play the Clarets there. Um, so. Uh, we've got a lot of things happening this week, and it's good to have you back here on the YouTube channel, and good to have you here at Z Code System once more. And be sure that if you like what you see here on the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can stay in touch with all the things that we post here at Z Code System on YouTube. And of course, you can go over to the blog and read up on everything there, and then use the VIP and get uh, access to all the great tools that we use at Z Code System to make our educated picks on sports betting. Don't forget that the NHL starts up this week, so you'll be able to get some great information on those games and make your picks there for that. But we're talking Premier League football, and of course, we're going to take a look at the Soccer Buddy app in just a second. But before we do that, I just want to take your attention over to the Premier League table right now, just so you can see the standings as we go into this midweek set of matches. Now, as you can see there, this is a website that I love to use. I've shown it to you before here on the Z Code System channel, and that is understat.com. And this is a website that shows, uh, obviously, the table there, and it also has other great stats as well as expected goals, expected goals against, expected points, et cetera, and so forth. So as you can see there, Liverpool leading the table right now, 33 points. They're just ahead of Manchester United on goal difference. Uh, but the Red Devils, as you can see, have that game in hand, and they will play it in midweek against Burnley. Now, the thing is, Burnley are an improving team, and we're going to scroll down just a bit. You can see Burnley down there in 16th place. Burnley are improving. Um, they've gotten themselves out of the relegation zone, and they are playing some decent football at the moment, and so they will fancy their chances of beating the Red Devils. So uh, we'll talk about that in just a second, but we've also got games this uh, in the midweek coming up for Manchester City, Tottenham Hotspur as well, so those teams can also take a step closer to Liverpool if they can gain wins. So big weekend, or big week actually, I should say, of football, and then we've got another big weekend of action coming up, and we'll talk about that uh, at another time. But let's look at the Soccer Buddy app, Soccer Buddy tool, to get our predictions for the games coming up this week. All right, so as you can see there, we have the Soccer Buddy tool right there. And again, as I say, every time that we use this here on the YouTube channel, if you are not familiar with the Soccer Buddy tool, by all means, watch the video and get all the information there from the how it works, and it will tell you exactly what to do and what you can expect from this great tool. Now, as we look at this here, we are on January the 11th, that is today, Monday, but we want to look at the 12th, which is tomorrow. Uh, I know we're coming to you a bit late with this video, but unfortunately, these games are all rammed and packed in there this week, uh, coming off of the FA Cup. So um, we'll take a look at games on the 12th, 13th, and 14th, uh, all three days, because uh, we're gonna have some excellent action coming up and uh, we've got our leagues, so we're just going to oops, scroll down until we get to the Premier League. If I can do that. There 
gitu ya. And there we are. Okay, so we've got our Premier League games for the 12th. That's tomorrow, Tuesday. And you're going to see there on your screen three games that are going to be played in the Premier League in midweek. We've got Everton and Wolverhampton Wanderers, Newcastle United and Sheffield United, and Manchester United at Burnley, which we've talked about previously. And that is a huge game that is coming up this weekend. Uh, Manchester United, like I said before, they can go top of the table with a win versus Burnley, and they are in great form right now. They're playing very, very well, uh, undefeated uh, in their last couple of games, and will fancy their chances of beating Burnley. Manchester United also coming off of an FA Cup third round win against Watford 1-0 at home. And now we'll go to Turf Moor in hopes of continuing that run. Now, Burnley did beat Manchester United last season at Old Trafford by a score of 2-0. And that was a very well-played game by Burnley. Um, and it came at a time when Manchester United was in a bit of a dip um, during the, uh, the restart of the season after Christmas break. Now, I do like Burnley in this game. I do think that they're going to get a goal. I do think that they're going to push Manchester United uh, much of the game. I think that they are uh, improving enough uh, to where they can definitely push United for the 90 minutes. Do I think they can take points off of Manchester United? Unfortunately, no, because right now Manchester United are just in such great form that I think that the Red Devils will end up getting the win. Uh, a 2-1 scoreline, lovely scoreline right there. I think this is going to be a very close game. Potentially with Manchester United picking up the victory with a goal late in the game, uh, possibly around the 80th minute mark. I think that this is going to be um, a very difficult fixture for them, but they're going to come out of this on top. So I'm backing Manchester United to win this game. Now, one of these games here, I'm looking at that Sheffield United, Newcastle United game. And as you know, if you're following the Premier League, Sheffield United are bottom of the table. They are absolutely dreadful. They are the worst team in the Premier League. And on, rec um, on pace to set a new record for the fewest points collected in a Premier League season. Uh, right now, I believe they have two points uh, at the midway point in the season or near the midway point in the season, uh, and the record is uh, 11 points in the Premier League season, which was set by Derby County over a, uh, over a decade ago. Um, I do not agree with the scoreline. Uh, I do not agree with a 2-1 win for Sheffield United at home against Newcastle United. I think that the Magpies, even though they're not playing the greatest right now, that they can definitely uh, pick up points in this game. Will they pick up a win? Potentially not. This could be a uh, game in which Sheffield United are able to get a point. But I don't see them winning this game because they're just not that good, especially in attack. They don't create much. Uh, they don't create many goals. They don't score many goals. And I expect Manchester. Uh, excuse me. I expect Newcastle United to at least get a draw or you know potentially a win in this game. Um, and I'm not even sure if Sheffield United can get on the score sheet in this because they have been so woeful in the final third. So I'm backing Newcastle United. I'm going against the Soccer Buddy app here, and I'm picking uh, Newcastle United to win this game. Now, as we see there, we got Everton and Wolverhampton Wanderers. Everton playing very well right now. They have their own uh, hopes of cracking that top four and potentially, if things go their way, making a run at the title. They've been good this season under Carlo Ancelotti. Um, and, and they go in after winning at the weekend in the FA Cup third round. Now, they will be playing Wolverhampton Wanderers, who, even though a good team, a very good defensive team, they are struggling to score goals. Yes, they also won the FA Cup third round on Friday night, being Crystal Palace 1-0, but this is a team that's not scoring very many goals, and if you're following the Premier League, you'll know that Raul, Raul Jimenez, their star striker, is out for the rest of the season, or at least expected for the rest of the season, um, after fracturing his skull against Arsenal back in, uh, I believe it was the end of November, the beginning of December. So Wolverhampton Wonders are struggling with their goals. Um, I'm not expecting them to really uh, come away with a win in this game. I actually like Everton for this. Uh, Everton are playing very well right now. And I think they can definitely go on the road to Molyneux and pick up a victory against Wolverhampton Wonders. Now, again, I'm going against the Soccer Buddy app because I think Everton are just too good right now to lose to Wolverhampton Wanderers. Now, of course, Wolves could get a draw. They've got a good defense, um, but Everton do have a, a good attack with Richarlison and Dominic Calvert-Lewin in attack. I'm not sure if James Rodriguez will be fit to play this game. Uh, he's missed quite a few games in recent weeks, uh, but I'm expecting Everton to at least come away with some kind of a result in this game and Wolves not to win uh, this match on Tuesday night. Now, Real quickly, before we go any further, I just want to take your eyes down to the value bets. Now, at the weekend I gave you on our last video here on YouTube, I gave you 
um, a value bet um, scrolling down, and it was for Fulham and QPR, Queen's Park Rangers, to draw at 90 minutes in the FA Cup third round. And wouldn't you know who won the pony? It was a draw at 90 minutes. So if you would have backed that, you would have won some money. I backed that, and I won some money. So it was an excellent bet um, and an excellent uh, bit of value. So definitely be sure you check out these value bets on the Soccer Buddy app. And as you can see there, uh, we've got a 1-1 scoreline. Here's a uh, in the first half score prediction with the value bet. So you might want to back that um, if you fancy uh, winning some profits. So anyway, definitely use those value bets. Now let's take a look at a couple more games uh, before we go today here on the YouTube channel. And I'm going to go to uh, Wednesday the 13th. And we've got that coming up now. If I can find that, there we are. And we'll just scroll down. There we are. Second time's the charm. Uh, we've got some games on Wednesday night, two games there. Now, direct your attention first off to that Fulham versus Tottenham Hotspur game. This has been a change of, uh, a change that just happened today. So this is why we're doing this video again late uh, with the games coming up tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday. Um, this game has been changed. It was originally supposed to be Tottenham Hotspur playing Aston Villa in the Premier League, but there's been an outbreak of COVID-19 uh, within the Aston Villa squad. If you follow the FA Cup over the weekend, you will know that Aston Villa had to field an under-23 team, uh, a team of kids, basically, to play Liverpool. They ended up losing 4-1 uh, because there were no uh, players capable uh, from the first team to play in that game, including uh, manager Dean Smith was, ha um, was having to isolate. Now, Aston Villa is still experiencing a large um, number of players isolating for, for COVID-19 positive tests, and they've had to close their training ground. And uh, so what has happened is the Premier League has decided, right, well, Fulham and Tottenham had a, a game postponed back before Christmas because of COVID-19. Uh, they'll go ahead and play that game. So this game has actually only been organized today uh, on Monday here in the UK. So it's going to be going on um, on Wednesday. Now, this is actually not great for Fulham. They've had this a very short preparation time. They were supposed to have a game on Friday, this upcoming Friday against Chelsea. That's been pushed back 24 hours uh, to Saturday. So this is not ideal for them, especially with them in the relegation zone and, and uh, trying to get out of it. Um, it's not really that big of a deal for Tottenham Hotspur because uh, they're in the top four right now. They're playing very good football and they were originally supposed to play uh, anyway against Aston Villa. Now they're just going to have to play Fulham. So a game that actually on paper isn't as difficult. Um, looking at that 2-1 scoreline, I like Tottenham Hotspur for this, um, but I don't like that scoreline. I like a 2-0 scoreline for Tottenham Hotspur. I think that they're going to keep a clean sheet at home and they're going to prevent uh, Fulham from getting on the score sheet. Fulham do not score a lot of goals. Their defense is really improving um, in the last few weeks. They've drawn four straight matches in the Premier League. They also ended up beating uh, QPR in extra time in the FA Cup over the weekend after that draw. Uh, that I talked about a few minutes ago. Um, but I like Tottenham in this game. They are playing uh, very well. They had a dip just a couple of weeks ago, uh, lost a couple of matches. They've rebounded, and they've still got their eyes on challenging for that uh, Premier League title. So I like Tottenham in this game, but I'm going with a 2-0 scoreline rather than that 2-1 prediction. Now looking up there again, we got Brighton and Manchester City going at it. Manchester City um, are back on top in terms of odds to win the Premier League. Um, they... We're not playing very well over the uh, beginning of the season, um, but they've really got things going. They're not scoring a lot of goals. They're doing it with defense right now, um, and they're doing it pretty well. Now, everybody's benefited recently from Liverpool's big dip. Uh, Liverpool losing or losing their last time against Southampton. They're winless in three straight games uh, in the Premier League, and the attack is struggling. So teams have really benefited lately, and that's given Manchester City a lifeline to win the Premier League title, and they currently lead odds according to leading sports books. I used Bet365 earlier today to check the odds out. They are minus 120 to win the Premier League title, and that is the best um, odds according to sports books to win the title. Now, they're taking on Brighton, who they have beaten seven straight times in all competitions, and I can't see anybody else winning this besides Manchester City. Brighton would need some kind of a miracle to go to the Etihad Stadium on Wednesday night to pick up a victory. And again, I'm going to go against the predicted scoreline. I don't expect Brighton to score in this game. Brighton are not a very good scoring team. Um, they drew in the FA Cup in uh, regular time in the 90 minutes uh, on Sunday night to Newport County, which was a bit of a shock. Um, a shock if you 
um, you know, if you're not real invested into the Premier League, and then they had to win in extra time uh, against Newport County. So I'm going against, actually, they went to penalties uh, against Newport County. Um, I'm going with Manchester City to win this. It's going to be a win to nil, and the citizens are going to close that gap again to the top two, Liverpool and Manchester United. So let's look at one more day and one more game, and we're going to go to the Thursday night, the 14th. We'll let that load real quickly, and we're going to have a look at the game played between Arsenal and Crystal Palace. Now, Arsenal go into this game. They haven't beaten Crystal Palace in their last three matches against the Eagles, uh, and Crystal Palace did pick up a win last season against Arsenal. So we've got that trend going on right now, Crystal Palace um, failing to be beaten by Arsenal in recent matches. But we are seeing Arsenal improve recently. They, um, I believe they're on a three-game winning streak right now. They are doing very well uh, in the Premier League and starting to really get hot. Uh, Mikel Arteta's job was under pressure. He's ridden that pressure, and now he's turned the team around, and they are doing well three straight games with a victory. Crystal Palace are ebbing and flowing. Lots of injuries there right now, which seems to always be the case with Roy Hodgson and his team at Selhurst Park. Um, one player I want to highlight in this game is Crystal Palace winger Wilfred Zaha. He is uh, a player who recently came out um, talking about how Arsenal had overlooked him. A couple, uh, I believe it was in 2019. Yeah, 2019. Uh, they overlooked him uh, in the transfer market and signed uh, player Nicolas Pepe uh, from the Lille uh, for 72 million pounds. And Zaha, um, it was kind of uh, talking about how they had chosen... Uh, Pepe over him for a large amount of money, and Pepe's done little to nothing for Arsenal since arriving. Uh, and Zaha just kind of, you know, feeling a bit, uh, I don't know, kind of like, you know, being overlooked, and now he can vindicate himself in a big performance against Arsenal. So I want you to pay attention to uh, Wilfred Zaha going into this game. I think he could have a big game for Crystal Palace uh, if he's fit and healthy once uh, kickoff uh, takes place on Thursday night. Now, Arsenal, because they're in such good form right now, I do like them to win this game or at least draw uh, against Crystal Palace because we have seen Crystal Palace play very well against Arsenal in recent weeks or, sorry, in recent seasons. So um, I think that you know there is the outside chance that Crystal Palace could pick up a draw, uh, but I do like Arsenal to at least come away with a result, potentially a win in a low-scoring game because we, knew, we know Crystal Palace do play um, pretty good defense. So I think they'll keep Arsenal uh, to a low score. Now, being that being said... Uh, Crystal Palace did play Liverpool right before Christmas and lose 7-0 in a bloodbath there at Selhurst Park. So there is that opportunity. We don't really know what's going to happen uh, when Crystal Palace show up to play, but we do know there are some injuries there, and um, I'm expecting Arsenal to come away with a result in this game. So guys, that is the next three days coming up in the Premier League, some midweek fixtures. I hope you're ready for them. I hope you're excited for them because I know I am. And uh, I hope you're ready to put some money down to wager on these games. And this helps you a lot. Um, be sure to go over to the VIP, sign up to the Zico system if you're not a member already. And you can use all of these tools that we have there for not only for the Premier League, but for a lot of the football leagues around the world, Spain, Germany, all the different leagues. We've got them covered there as well as some obscure leagues uh, that you might not even know about. So you can follow those there. Uh, at Z Code System. And you can also bet on the other sports that are going on right now, such as the NBA, uh, NHL starting up, and um, some of the other things, college sports in the USA. So guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked what you saw, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on everything we post here on the Z Code System YouTube channel. And we will see you next time here on YouTube.